Hey guys, tonight I want to do a video about eight great expat tips for new guys and for new women also. Um, I've been thinking about this one for a while. I saw this a while back. It was in a meme or something like that and I took it and I, I changed it a lot. I changed it a real lot because I thought that it would really help a lot of new expats and it's, it basically kind of encapsulates a lot of what I teach on here because a lot of the problems that most expats have are dealing with people. That's the, the biggest one. And the rest is, is, it comes pretty easy, but the biggest ones are dealing with people and dealing with a lot of um, issues that you have. And a, a lot of things can be alleviated by, you know, staying positive and stuff. And, and these here tips, they, they, they really kind of sum it up what I've been trying to teach on here for several years and let me let me say there's eight tips on here total and I love these tips and I what I do is I changed them and I, I I'm gonna add a few my thoughts on each one uh, but I changed them up quite a lot and the first one is even though you trust someone keep some things to yourself and this goes I think for everybody in life I, I think when you let people know who you really are you take away the mystery and especially with women, when, you, when a woman gets to know you too much, it takes away that mystery. And also it goes for friends. Friends will stick around when there's a little bit of mystery left there, you know, and they don't know who you are. If you throw yourself out there and they know everything about you, there's no mystery. And especially with, when, when you're dealing with women or uh, uh, if you're looking for a girlfriend or a wife or something, always keep a little bit of mystery about you. Keep a few things hidden that they don't know about because sometimes those things come back in your face too, you know, so you gotta be careful. And, and it also, it keeps up that mystery, like I said. But number two, if you want to build something big, be ready for criticism. You know, and usually, that's when narcissists usually come out of their shell. Um, usually when you're, when you're focusing on something big, you're gonna get a lot of people that just throw a lot of negativity at you. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, Steve, it'll never happen. You know how many people I had tell me that you know, I would never be able to form a really big uh, expat group and, and community. We've had our problems, and we're having problems right now. I mean, sometimes, and we just, it, it, you just kind of, you know, sail through it. You're going to hit rough seas sometimes in order to get to the other side. It's just, it's just the way it is. You know, and you have to kind of, you know, go with it. Go with the flow. And if you don't, if you don't learn to go with the flow, you know, then you, you're not going to make it. But, you know... Be careful of the narcissists out there and the naysayers and stuff that try to destroy your dreams. Um, number three, your mental health is important. Keep it number one. Keep your mental health number one. Always stay on top of your mental health. Make sure that you're happy. Make sure you're not going through depression. Try, try to focus on keeping your life, your mental, your mental health happy. And, 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 you know, experience joy once in a while. Go out there and experience that joy. And don't be afraid of joy because some people are afraid of joy that, you know, hey, if, man, I'm at the top right now. The only thing that can happen next, it can crash down. Experience that joy. You know, the other thing is, number four, you are unstoppable when you realize you can do most things alone. You know, a lot of times when, you, when you're alone and you do things alone, and you're able to push through easier sometimes without having other people slowing you down or whatever. If you can do things alone, do it, do it, do it yourself. And you'll, at the end, you'll feel that much better and thankful for it. And I'm not saying don't have people around. Obviously, when you're doing some things, you're going to have to have people. You're going to have to have people helping you along the way. But you're the one who really is doing it. You're the one who's pushing and striving for your dreams. And as an expat... We all, this is our, this is our dream, our expat dream. We want to, we want to succeed in this. And I don't let people get in my way. I don't, I don't. Um, when I feel that something's going astray or something like that, or if I feel somebody's getting in my way, or if I feel somebody's lying to me or gaslighting me, or I feel a narcissist is, is in my way, um, or somebody's just too negative for, for my liking, I usually just either kind of put them aside or I just end the, the French the friendship or or just let it go you know sometimes you, you have to do that and it's hard to do that sometimes because there are likable qualities in everybody 
And, you know, I've had a hard time letting some people go because of who they hung around with. They hung around with negative people that I found, the, you know, I didn't want to have any of that negativity coming back to me dripping off those people. And it, it happens, you know, and we all, we all know what we're talking about. You know, you have a friend that hangs around with one, a person that you don't like very much or whatever. And things go back and forth. And sometimes you have to put a stop to that. It doesn't mean you hate the people. It doesn't mean you dislike the people. It doesn't mean you don't wish them the best. It just means you just don't want to deal with that. And, you know, I put that on there. I thought that was kind of important. Let's see. The next one is number five. Um, be all right when people don't don't like you. Most don't like themselves. I, I find that true. You know, a lot of people that don't like you, they don't even like themselves. They, they just negative people all around. They kind of bring their their own karma onto themselves by being negative or doing nasty things to people or whatever. Um, most of the people that I had to let go in my life were were people that were narcissistic qualities um, or people that that just didn't have the same focus and say same they weren't focused on the same things as me so I just had to kind of let that go I said you know I can't I can't be around these people and you can't hang around with too many people it's I'd rather have no friends than have a bunch of friends that I can't trust so just just you know keep that keep that part of you you know keep that in your mind all the time that you know don't let people get in your way just be careful you know um not number six not everything will go to plan be ready to adapt always wow you know adapting that's one of the, the uh, it's a it's a good trait to have as an expat is adapting you always have to adapt always you know um I find things always change and people throw logs in front of your, your road or whatever. They, 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 they throw nails in the road just to try to get you to have a flat tire along the way or whatever for your dreams. And they do it on purpose. And that tends to make you stronger if you can just focus on, on you know, the light at the end of the tunnel and you, you know you're going to get there. You don't know how you're going to get there yet, but, you know, you're going to make it. And just say, you know what, this is just a bump in the road. I'm going to make it past this and I'm going to keep on going. You know, when I focused on becoming an expat, it took me four years to get where I am today, over here in the Philippines. And I'll tell you, there was a lot of bumps. You know, a lot of things happened. But because I wrote everything out, that helped me the most. It really did. Having that whiteboard stopped a lot of issues and problems because I wrote everything out. I focused on how much money I would need. I over budgeted, I did everything. You know, I did all the stuff that, that, that I had to do so there would be less failure. That is, that is a really, you know, good thing to be adaptive. And at number seven, the most important expat decision is to choose wisely who will be your wife or girlfriend. Remember, 90% of your misery or 90% of your happiness is hinged on this. And it really is. You, I mean, your, your girlfriend or wife is going to bring you 90% of your happiness or 90% of your misery. You know, and it, it's very, very true. You know, and my girlfriend brings me a lot of, of happiness. You know, we've gone through some tough times and stuff. And, and not to say that you're not going to have tough times. You know, and be aware of that too. That sometimes it, it, you might not be getting all that happiness at some point. That might be the 10% during that time. And sometimes that 10% comes all at once. And it has... You know, in, in my life, for sure. And then usually you work your way through that. You move on. You know, um, number eight, stay away from negativity. Stay focused and positive and stay healthy. You know, um, staying healthy is important. Stay, staying focused um, and staying away from negativity has always helped me a lot. I've, I've, it's, man, that negativity thing, it drags you down. When I first got here... You know, I, I learned a lesson really hard from a couple of people. Um, even in the past couple of years, every once in a while you get slammed by negativity and negative people. You know, um, stay positive. You know, um, just stay away from that negativity. You know, sometimes you got to cut people out of your lives because there's too much drama or negativity. I, man, if, if anything has been uh, a downer over here for me is, is that. And when you let that go, man, it gets better. 
And not to say that those people aren't going to come back and haunt your uh, whatever once every once in a while. And they do. And I've had that happen too. Um, but I'm lucky that for the most part, my life just keeps on moving along. I don't let that bother me. I, I bounce back up. I, I you know, I, I get back up and I keep on walking. I keep on moving. And you need to learn to keep on moving too. You know, and just keep on going. You know, I've had a lot of things happen over here since I've got here. Not to say that things didn't happen in my past too. You know what I mean? My past life in the U.S. And a lot of us have gone through a lot of issues in our lives back home. And when you come over here, it's not going to be perfect over here, guys. So realize that now. But if you follow these rules, the rules that I just gave you, you know what? You'll be a lot better off. When you notice something negative in your life, move on. You see an expat that looks like a jerk, don't bring them into your life. Get rid of them. You know, you see, a, a, even if it's a, a Filipino or a American or whatever, it doesn't really matter. If the person is negative or whatever, stay away from that. Stay, stay out of that. You know, I tell people, stay focused. Stay focused on the rules and you'll do better in life. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll live a really rich life over here and you'll be happier. And, and, you know, stay on top of your budgets and your money and, and all that. Be alert, focused, and be thoughtful about what's going on around you. God bless, guys. Take care.